everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with my Cramathon TBR for 2020. If you guys are unaware, Cramathon is a readathon that myself, Julia from Julia Sapphire, Dylan from Dylan is Reading, and Allie from Hardback Hoarder hosts. We usually host this in December in order for people to try to cram their TBR and finish their Goodreads goals. That's like the whole point of this readathon. But we decided that we also want to run a summer version this year, so we are hosting it from July 6th to July 12th so we really hope that you can join us but there's always some fun challenges that we put out for you guys to try to complete so this is my TBR for those challenges so without further ado let us get started there are five challenges that you can try to complete and Allie ended up making some graphics with the challenges and the host recommendations for these challenges if you are interested then go check out the Cramathon at Twitter at Cramathon in order to see some of our recommendations for these challenges. The first challenge that we have is to read a book by a black author so I am going to be reading Akita Witch by Nnedi Okokafor and I have not heard a lot of people talk about this book. I've seen a lot of people haul it but I've never seen anybody actually read it and say their feelings on it so I have no idea if it is good or not but the premise sounds really interesting to me. It's about a woman who is West African but she's an albino and then she discovers that she has these magical powers that are dormant and I guess she's discovering that she can access these powers now. She ends up being enrolled into like a school for magic I guess to learn more about her powers and then she gets asked by the magical authorities to go track down a criminal and it's like the story of that. I just think that it sounds really cool but like I said I've never heard anybody talk about it so I'm definitely intrigued to see if it's good or not. The next challenge that you can try to complete is the read a book that's under 200 pages. This is included every single time we host this readathon since the whole point is to cram as many books as you can to complete your Goodreads challenge. So I always have a hard time finding a book that is under 200 pages but I found one this time and it is Cruel Crown by Victoria Aveyard. This is like a novella to the Red Queen series. I just completed Red Queen and this is 1.5 so I'm allowed to read it now. I've had it on my shelf forever because I've just been putting off reading Red Queen. Finally gonna pick this up. I believe it's only like 143 pages or something because half of it is just a glass sword introduction. Yeah 142 pages so definitely under 200. The next challenge is a 2020 release. So I chose Thorn. This is by Intisar Kanani and I have had this since it came out. So excited about it. It sounds so interesting to me and everybody who has read it has rated it very highly. But all I really know about it is that it's a Goose Girl retelling which I personally have not read the Goose Girl so I have no idea what that story is but I'm always a huge fan of fairy tale retellings so I'm definitely excited to check this one out. The next challenge is to read a own voices book so I chose Love, Hate, and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed. I've had this on my shelf for years. I'm pretty sure I've probably included it in other Cramathon TBRs because I always just never end up picking it up but all I really know about this one is that it follows a 17 year old who is dealing with Islamophobia and like cultural divides in her community and it's like the story of her coming to terms with what's going on in the world around her but I've heard really good things about it so I'm definitely intrigued to pick it up and hopefully this is the Cramathon that I actually do. And then the final challenge that we have is to read a nonfiction book. I had a really hard time finding a nonfiction book on my shelves because I am just not a nonfiction reader. So I finally found one that I've had for years, probably like my entire life, but it is Wasted by Maria Hornbatcher and this is like an eating disorder memoir about her struggles with anorexia. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I'm very fascinated with psychology and one of the things that come along with psychology is eating disorders and that's one of the fields that I'm just very interested in, the psychology behind it, so I'm very intrigued to see a first person account of this disorder. Alright everybody, so that was my Cramathon TBR. We are hosting this readathon from July 6th to July 12th, so we really hope that you join us and we will be having Twitter sprints on the Cramathon Twitter at Cramathon if you're interested in joining us. I'll leave all the links down below including the host 
channels as well so check those out and let me know down below if you guys are planning on participating and what you're going to be reading for this round of Cramathon and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!